and uh, be responsible for your weight. Be considerate. And we had a great time. We're crabbing, and I think I, I wanted to lay my line where there wasn't no grass, but I think it's gonna be a mess. We're gonna run it once. We're gonna run it one time, and I got a feeling that I'm gonna end up picking it back up, and that's gonna take about a half an hour. Um, but the tide is around. The tides, low tides, probably about 130 something. I don't know. My I left my phone at the truck, so. Usually my wife grabs everything out of the truck, but this time she didn't. Um, hey now. It's, no, I, it's just sitting on my dashboard, just sitting on my console. Hope we don't get too hot, and it's plugged in. So I hope uh, I don't buy it, sees it, and breaks in, and steals it. Um, well, just, we're just, we got a lot of grass. Well, we ran the line, and the grass was real thick in the one area, and it was pulling down the line. Uh, but we see some crabs. Um, we weren't, unfortunately, I don't think we we're really prepared for it. Um, but um, we got, it looks like some nice sized crabs. The tide's just starting to come in. So we got it reset um, just in time. So I, uh, I got the Lorenz. Kind of gives me ground where I'm at, my lines. And then uh, I can change it to down scan it's actually down scan a lot of grass you can see there ain't no grass here so problem is we're kind of going through a channel and I, I don't like that so much right there um, and then I don't know if you can see that right there I think you see it um, then you can actually do all three if you want so you can kind of have all three there's your your lines and stuff and your depths and your dance scan. But we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna leave it right there. See where we're running out. We ran it that way and it was we wanted to go shallow but the shallow they had the grass was so thick it's brutal. So we actually had to stay more in the channel. I don't want to go so uh, um, it's it can be pretty uh, pretty deep I don't want to go so deep but the crabs are already on there and I believe the tide is switched so we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to go ahead and start running this thing uh, we'll, we'll see what happens when the first run then we'll start recording well I wish we can turn this stuff down I'll turn it back up in a minute well two runs 20 crabs that's good we set the line and then had to reset it, but we just moved it over a little bit more in a little bit deeper water, but there's not as much grass. Are you watching where this boat's going? No. No, we'll just go and crash into anybody. But it looks pretty good. It's going it's going a lot faster. Um it's going a lot faster. Um and catching more crabs. Last time it was far and in between and a lot of them were, were dropping off. So I'm gonna try to take this run. I'm um, just gonna watch the wife. She's she's pretty. She's very. Uh, she can, I think it's clipping on there. We'll try to see if we can get a get a good view of this. All right. Hold on, Dad. Maybe set up.
about to jump and step on it. Oh, he got away. Did you see that? Yes. Six or eight of them. Now he's gonna bite me. Cause she got the things in there. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. Add to that. We might be getting close to a half. We might be getting close to half a bush. It's already five o'clock. Good grief. Where are you going? Oh, we're going back. All right. It's pretty. It's kind of hot out. You know, I'm chubby. I don't like. I don't like hot weather. I mean, uh, it's not bad out. Got a nice breeze. Um, it's really quiet. We're getting ready to turn this music off. I listen to this crap all week long. Listen to music. And when I come outside, I don't I don't want to hear this stuff. I just want to hear what's going on around me. It's better that way. All right. But the wife. Got to make the wife happy. She listened to Five Figure Death Punch about 15, min 15 million times a day. I think, I think she's getting cut off. It's all you. It's all you. Well, I need you to come over. Look at that guy. It's a boat. Okay, I see it. He's got a boat up there. I'm not worried about this right now. Well, it's not five o'clock. It's only three o'clock. I was looking at the wrong time. But look, that I got a feeling that it's pretty early. I think we're going to tie this bush off tonight. Look at that. They're not the giant crabs that we're used to, but I see crab meat put in the freezer. Pretty darn excited about that. We've been slacking. The crabs actually kind of starting to show up in our spot where we like to where we like to crab. So we got almost three quarters of a bushel. Almost. I would say maybe another four crabs. Yeah. He's like, mm, look at that. Like, Come on. Come on, just give me, give me your finger. Give me your finger. Got five, I guess. All right, so my battery kind of died last night. Didn't fully like charge it up, and my SD card's about full. Real quick, yesterday, you know, we were when we first laid the line, we laid it. It wasn't that it was too shallow. It's that the grass was so high, so thick, we had to move it. So even when we moved it, the next closest person to us was running traps, kind of the same way. But they were three, three hundred yards, maybe four hundred yards. I mean, they were pretty far away. But I mean, they were next to us, but they were far enough. In Maryland, you know, if you're going to lay a line, you got to be at least 100 feet away. And we had plenty, plenty of room. 
Well, with the whole area, every time they would run their line, they would come biased. The one time they kind of came fairly, I wouldn't say fast, but you know, making a wake. And uh, we were looking down at the line and not really realizing it, but they made a wake to kind of like call us off guard. And um, you'll see later in the day, we had a nice couple, um, uh, or, or it was four of them. I think it was the, the, the kids and the parents were just out on the water yesterday afternoon. Uh, it's gonna be hot today. They're saying uh, 115 index. I don't think I'm gonna be outside too much today. Um, I forgot last night when I came back, I had to unbait the line, so I had to do the chicken next this morning. Um, so I just I just unbaited the line. I put a little, like a couple times, if it's real bad, I'll take the, uh, the Clorox. Um, I put some Clorox bleach on it, spray it down, and um, let it sit for a little bit, and then I'll rinse it off real good with water to kind of, you know, you know, keep it kind of sanitized. Um, okay, so as you'll see in the video that we're, we're coming, we, we got a, a boat next to us and, and they're far, but they were just watching us crab, you know, we were having a conversation, really polite, they were the nicest people. And that boat, we were looking down at the trout line, you know, looking for the, the uh, you know, looking for crabs. And then out of nowhere, I'm, I'm watching, that boat came right in between us. I mean, now we were only, uh, we were pretty close and I wasn't taping that but they came right in between us. That is terrible boat etiquette. You know, I don't know if they were mad that maybe we got next to them, but we were, we were way, way, way legally far enough away. I mean, when they would run their, we, we would have to yell to them in order for them to hear us. That's how far away they were. So that was bad etiquette. Um, be respectful for people, Re responsible for your wake. You know, you're fishing, like when I go fishing down a river, I was down there fishing the river the other day, <clears throat> And guys were just blasting by me while I'm standing on the front of my boat and making two, three foot waves at, you know, and like you gotta, it's just, it's, it's horrible. All right, so if you're going down and it's a close, close, I mean, you're kind of close, just be respectful to somebody, you know, that maybe somebody's not expecting you to be blasting by them and uh, be responsible for your wake, be considerate. And we had a great time to people where everybody's really pretty much nice on the water, but you always have that one knucklehead that just don't care, don't respect anything. And I, w I think that the, the girl was driving and I, I don't know if her boyfriend would tell her, hey, you probably shouldn't do this. So obviously they, both of them were idiots. Um, so that was bad etiquette. Sorry for saying idiots, but you know, that was, it was terrible. All right, let's get back to the video. Bing! Say, uh, aren't you a little too close over here? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so you're saying you're not really Still recording. I, I thought know. I, I thought I turned you off. Oh, no. We only got like five when I run. We're still recording. I only got 13 minutes left. Joe tonight. Say bye. Wave. Wave. Thank you. We definitely had good luck. We got. We're getting look. We're getting close. Getting close to a bushel. So early. Well, we're, there's lightning, there's rain, but we think it's going this way. That's what the radar shows. I think we're right on the edge of it, but yeah, we, we do see some lightning over there. And I don't play with lightning. Anything gets anywhere near close of us, we're going to blast over here. There's a gazebo up there. We will tie off, go sit in that gazebo until it passes by. Uh, but it's a short one. Look at the radar, it looks like it's gonna be quick moving, but that is rain and lightning. But almost a bushel. Not a pack pack bushel, but I said it's a bushel of crabs almost, what'd you say? That's what I say. We're gonna put a towel on them. We got about a 40 minute drive home. Alright, so it's salt water. I'm not coming back. I always like I always like uh taking a salt. I gotta let it run. Let it run for 15 minutes while this is running i'll get the i'll get the uh steamer all ready
Well, we'll see if it'll work. It's not gonna work. I just don't feel like walking around there. Here we go with the copyrighted music again. I'm trying to tape here. All right, I'll turn it down. God darn wife. Love ain't no stranger. Imagine that white snake on. We'll go away from the copyrighted music. Just gonna turn the water on and we're gonna let that run. Almost power wash time. Power wash the house. Oh my pretty tree. I bought that thing. You would have thought Charlie Brown brought it home. All right, let the fresh water, water run through this. And it's actually a good idea if you want been out of salt water you had your trailer in it take the fresh water and rinse i usually like rinse all the tires off inside i'll just rinse it off to kind of get some of the salt off of it other than that i already showed you how to steam the crabs apple cider vinegar and a beer don't put too much in it depending we got about a bushel of crabs <laughs> 